This episode of Gripping Golf is brought to you by Sycamore Ridge and Senior View. We're about to shoot a shot. To another exciting episode of Gripping Golf Podcast. If you're watching, you might notice there are four of us. Faux. The, faux, faux, faux. Faux. Four of us. The uh, He's been in our minds. He's been in the background all the time, but he's now physically here, present with us on the podcast. It's Pete Hansen. Welcome. Big sexy Pete. The, are you the that. fifth Hansen brother? Uh, I'm the third. The third. The third. Well, no, of the group, the I music Bob. group, Hansen. I know that I'm about guys. Okay. But, they but aren't they there, spell it They spell it differently. Yeah. They do? Yeah. Oh. And I have my locks are you have a mullet. much better than their locks. You're a beautiful, beautiful man. I don't know about that. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to throw a penalty flag on that statement. <laughs> Before we get too far into this, we probably need to talk about, you know, buttery soft leather from Nelson Absolutely. Hillco. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? So Pete Hansen has purchased uh, buttery soft leather from Nelson Hillco using... A delicious promo code I of did. gripping golf, just gripping golf, all one word, all caps lock on their website, nelsonhill.co. You're about to get some supple leather. It's so supple. Buttery yeah. soft. Has it carry. arrived? It has arrived. Oh, it, it has. has. Yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I, what, quick? I slept with it the first three You nights. did? I bet. Yeah. Right yeah. next to me, we cuddled. And you got the scorecard holder. I got the scorecard holder like you have. Oh. Um, I unfortunately forgot it today when I played. I think, oh, my gosh. That's because it's um, in my back pocket. Look at there. Look at there. Look at this. What? It doesn't even Again, make noise. It doesn't even make noise. I mean, when it's, it floats. It floats over the microphone. You can't even hear that. A yeah. buttery soft discount on a buttery <laughs> soft leather. <laughs> Do you want to touch it? Oh, what color did nice. you get there, Billy? I wasn't sure. I, I don't know. Uh, this is brown. Good I don't know what. It's chocolate. Here. Yeah, it's like a chocolate. I got, I got caramel. Does it okay. look It'll the same? Lighter. Similar. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. So is yours lighter, maybe? Or is it's a little bit lighter, and it doesn't have the red stitching. Oh. But it's still very nice. Mine was a gift. So you both... Took advantage of the brown cow. Yeah. Brown cow. How now, brown cow? Yeah. Uh, so we're recording this as the Ryder Cup of 2020, which is actually in 2021, is wrapping up with uh, USA winning 17 and a half to seven and a half. So they've clinched the cup. It's yeah. coming back to the soil of which we stand on today. Clinched it. Hallelujah. And I've heard, I heard in like uh, 2047, I think it is, or 45, that it's coming to Sycamore Ridge. Really? Oh. Yes. Nice. Exactly. I, 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 I guess I missed that. that on the you monthly missed email. You're pr- <laughs> nice. The gripping golf yeah. monthly yeah. email? Well, or that the, and the Sycamore monthly the, email. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, and prepare and yourself. By 2045 will be the number one podcast. Yes, oh, sure outside sure. of sure. our uh, yes, outside yeah. of our wives, our parents, yes. and our g- closest friends. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Our and money, the four of us. Our weekend yeah. money game guys. In our, in our <laughs> weekend money game guys. Get yeah. rich off of us. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Shout yeah. out to the weekend <laughs> yeah. money game guys. I lose ten dollars yeah. every weekend. Uh-huh. Hey, no money you know changed what? hands today. No, no money changed hands. There was no None. blood. Wow. None. All oh, square all the God. way through. Wow. That's ridiculous. It was ridiculous. We went out low in the front and we figured we'd at least grab that, but no. Really? All right. Oh. Okay, right. let's move into. Uh, have you played golf? I'll go. Uh, I, I typically go first, so I just will continue just to go yeah. first. Yeah. Why not? Go okay. For it. Uh, I played Saturday, and I played okay. I played. I don't even remember what I shot. Seventy-eight. Shot seventy-eight. Uh, okay. Had some really good shots. Uh, I potted well, but I didn't make very many birdies, which sucks. But yeah. a lot of par saves or just a lot of par save. No, just on green. I think I hit almost seventy percent of the greens and. Just two a lot putted. of two putts. It was yeah. just a ho hum round. Boring. Yeah. Yeah. Boring golf. Boring golf. Yeah. Boring golf. But I had some really great uh, wedge shots, specifically on um, 13. No, 14, the par three. Mm-hmm. Just a great pitching wedge into the wind right next to the hole. And then surprisingly, I missed the six foot birdie putt. Yeah. yeah. What, what happened on that hole with me? And Dave made a bomb of a birdie putt. Oh, nice. Did you? Yeah. 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 It was an LDD. Every bit of 20. We feet. were partners, though. This, yeah. We had oh. just switched. Yeah. So 13 was the first hole yeah. uh, that we were playing a 6 6 6 game. And Dave and I were the last six. We were because we're the best together. Yeah. Save and the best for last. Yeah. And yeah. first hole, he birdies it. Lost. Yeah. He birdies <laughs> the first hole on 13. Birdies 14. Whoa. And then we were two up, and then we ended up all square. 
Yeah. They won 18, didn't they? Yeah. To go all square. Yeah. yeah. Who, good, who yeah. were your opponents? Uh, Mark and Daniel. Yeah, that's right. Mark uh, and Daniel. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That Mark. <laughs> I was about to say Bobby, and I was like, Bobby wasn't there. <laughs> oh, that yeah. Mark. That Mark. <laughs> He can play some golf. Well, he yeah, was, yeah. He he was well, mad the week. entire round, and then he, he yeah. his last hole of the day, he birdied yeah, it. Yeah, he's sneaky. He, so played, he, he played, walked, played that last hole well. Yeah. He walked away happy. Uh, but he yeah. wasn't happy leading up to that. So what did he I shoot? I can understand that. I think he said he shot an 80. Which yeah, wasn't bad. Wrong right? Yeah. yeah. No, that's, yeah. yeah. Mark, if you're listening, golf. you're too hard on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You're a good player. A little more credit. Best tempo in the group. Oh, Andy's Andy's the best ball striker in the group, and then Mark has the best tempo. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. You said Andy, not and he. Andy. Right. Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Andy. Yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. The lefty. Lefty. Yes. Yeah. Do you think he enjoyed us hitting his clubs this morning? Well, well I'm pretty <laughs> sure he was looking at us <laughs> like he's we left handed. Like we were like some kind yeah. of a side yeah. show. Yeah. Will you please stop ruining yeah. my clubs, yeah. you jerks? Because they're beautiful. Well, I never hit are his, really I never pretty. hit the face of his club today. So I did. I didn't ruin it. My first one was pretty good. Your first one was pretty good. Considered for about. Two seconds. Yes. Giving it a Switching shot to be going lefty. Yeah. For the record, we don't believe lefties are sideshow attractions. No, just, not necessarily. Uh, thought it might be fun to try hitting a left-handed club yeah. before. Uh, yeah. I'd, but they are. Ooh, boy. No. That, sounds, <laughs> that sounds rough. <laughs> uh, toss it over. John, go ahead. Would yeah. You? I played, and I wasn't here last week, but uh, last cast, but I played before that one. I filled in for a, it was like a Sweet 16 type tournament out here oh, at Sycamore. Yeah. And uh, I've been a fill-in in two different leagues. I'm the pinch hitter. Commonly and known as a sandbagger in sandbagger. this league. Sandbagger. Just yeah. a bit yeah. of a, an yeah. accusation there. Cheater. Don't uh, pay for anything cheater. but win everything. That's yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and we did not pull it out, so I anti-sandbagged. Uh, anti-sandbagged. Oh, you guys lost the We finals? lost it, yeah. Is that because someone I, at told you you were a sandbag? That you, no. You felt bad you needed to lose? It was specifically the faults in my golf game. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, we didn't pull it out, but it was still a lot of fun. And the guy that I was playing golf with, another John, uh, absolutely a blast golfing with him. So I he's, couldn't complain. He's actually out on the course right now. I noticed. I thought I saw his car out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for those watching, we we're actually in we're the in, foyer. We're at Sigmar Ridge. We are. Sigmar Ridge Golf Club. Excellent Kansas. pronunciation. Yeah. Foyer. Oh, and how? I would have nice. said foyer. Well, yeah. you're fancy. I know. Yeah. yeah. So I played yesterday, too. And uh, shout out to Sycamore. The greens are amazing. Oh, my gosh. I had so much fun Fantastic. yesterday rolling on those greens. Fast. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, yeah. They really sped them up even oh, more today. I was so glad to see that. They are in perfect shape right now. Um, Big but, tournament coming up. They got to get it ready. Yeah, they got to get it in mint. <laughs> yeah. But then, oh, we need to mention that. Yeah. You need to mention yeah. that. Spring Hill Invitational uh, Tournament is yeah. next weekend with a horse race starting Friday. I am looking forward five, to five that. Five days two. away. I, yeah. That is one hole of golf and 17 yeah. holes of following around and drinking beer. Watching <laughs> Alex Springer dominate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Is he Just playing? somebody shoot he's a 62. going to the horse race. Yes. Oh, yeah. man. It's yeah. going to be awesome I hope he's my watch. partner. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah, I, I would take him as well. Yeah, yeah no exactly. No kidding. But I played yesterday. Played decent. It was kind of like Billy. Boring golf. Shot a seventy six. Uh, two bogeys aside. Seventy six so. with boring. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was uh, no real no I real would, shows. One birdie. I would take boring golf right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're over, in a. It's overrated. Yeah, you're yeah. in a, a rut. Boy, yeah. I tell you what. So yeah. well, I'm not in a rut. I just hadn't played in a while, and it shows. Yeah, the rut yeah. shows up. So, so I can't wait do? to get to did Dave buy something? Yeah, well, we'll get there. Okay. Patience, 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 patience. So, yes, patience, young. Uh, I played yesterday and today. Uh, yesterday shot a 77. That was with three birdies to give you an idea of how up and wow. down good the was. birdies. <laughs> just a just a for all the listeners keeping track. He beat me by one stroke. Yes. Mm-hmm. Dominated you by one Dominated stroke. Dominated me yeah. by one stroke. Decisive a tyranny thumping. on the golf course. Yes. We, mu- we each might have been in our pocket on 18 at one point. Uh, no, no. No, I wasn't. No. Either. no. no. So that's yeah. funny, though, that bad. you mentioned 18 because so I, I did try to play it safe, and I hit it into the hazard off the tee, but Mark found my ball. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and I bunted it into the fairway, and then I stood there for way longer than I should have trying to decide. Should I hit a three wood or should I just hit a seven iron? And ultimately, I said I'm going to hit a seven iron, then wedge it close, and make a par. What actually happened was I hit a seven iron, wedged it far away, and made a bogey. <laughs> <laughs> there was some strategy there, maybe. Yes, yeah. it's but, a bold move. But I mm-hmm. said just just for fun because it was into a decent win. I said I'm going to try to hit a three wood and see what happens. So I hit a three wood. The three wood was great. Yeah, it was a great three wood. And then I go up to the ball that I hit and <laughs> I. It went in. 
my oh, website. Oh, yeah, that's right. Out. You oh, chipped nice. it in. That's like, right. I chipped, and it didn't count. Yeah. And Mark was wow. the first person. That oh, yeah. ball doesn't count. That ball doesn't count. <laughs> okay. Like the second it hit the green and started rolling, he's like, that ball doesn't count. Yeah. And then, yeah. Whoop, right yeah. into the cup. I oh, forgot man. that you did that. That was yeah. awesome. It still yeah. counted. Yeah. It, it count, still counts in our hearts. Yeah. Our hearts and minds. It actually happened. People need to drive home with that shot in their head. Right. Right. I'm pretty sure in the Ryder Cup, if someone dropped another ball and they hit it in, they'd be like, that, it would totally just take it. It's a little known fact. There are breakfast balls in the Ryder Cup. Yes. Yeah, they're yeah. just seldomly used. I saw. Yeah, I did have a little bit of a panic moment uh, when I realized I wouldn't get a breakfast ball in the first hole of the, the Spring Hill Invitational. <laughs> Are you turn. teeing off with a nine iron? <laughs> and yeah. you're be, and it's not playing up from the up tee. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I was like, I'm back. going out to number one with a large bucket of balls in my driver, yeah. and I'm just going, yeah, yeah, <laughs> until I find the swing that gets it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a change of pace. It's yeah. good. Though. Yeah, it's, it's good though. Yeah, yeah. it's good and golf to play. Yeah, Daniel hadn't hadn't played with us a long time, and he he goes, "Why are you guys up here?" And I go, "We we do it because we we get tired of losing seven balls on the first yeah. hole." <laughs> well, I mean, and honestly, half the group like they they don't. It's a tough hole. Really I mean, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a tough one. It's hard. a par yeah. five for me today. Yeah. Yeah. Today with the south wind blowing twenty miles an hour, it plays five hundred yards. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing yeah. about today's round. I shot an eighty. 81, sorry, in 81 with, with a birdie. Yeah. <laughs> but mm. it's funny, the two holes that I did the worst on, I didn't lose a ball. The holes that I lost balls on, I bogeyed those. So yeah. Yeah. whatever. But um, so that's a good message to all these, those young kids learning to golf. I stay yeah. in the hole. Yeah, yeah. Stay absolutely. Stay yeah. So yep. it, it was just, it was crazy because the pace was slow. It was super windy today. So it was, it was hard to stay mentally focused. And I was not hitting the ball well at all. I got mm. out of bed this morning. My back hurt because apparently I'm 80. And yeah. <laughs> you don't look it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you're a young age. <laughs> yes, it's the <laughs> Korean skin that's going to keep me looking young. Supple, uh, right? Yeah. So, but uh, you know, it, the, the point when I started hitting the ball well is when I realized, you know what, you might as well just have fun and try to work the ball against the wind or with yeah. the wind. Mm. And yeah. Once I started doing that, I was staying down in my shots, and I was successful. I'd say about seventy five percent of the time on those shots, and there Sweet. were a few that didn't bad. go well. So it, it was actually. Despite the score, it was actually a, a decent round of golf for the last six holes. Yeah. How? Um, how? All right. So, what hole did you say? Hey, let's stop fighting this. Let's just work work shots. Um, it started actually on twelve. That was Peter, by the way, for yeah. people who didn't recognize his voice. Yeah. Um, thank you for chiming in, Pete. So <laughs> it was on twelve. I decided I would start. Um, so what ha- actually happened on twelve was I hit the ball purely with my driving iron. And it, the wind didn't touch it. I Wait, which I, hole was this? Sorry, I missed. 12. 12. Okay, yeah, thank the you. Par, the par three. And uh, I said, wait a minute. When I pure it, the wind doesn't touch it. Yeah. That's weird. Odd. <laughs> Let, let's, let's stop trying to fight this. And then from that point on, like uh, my approach shot into 13, it was just a 90-yard shot up the hill into the wind. Um, but I decided I was just going to get a pitching wedge, my 130-yard club, yeah. throw it out to the right and let the wind just sling it in. I, I barely missed the green there, but... You know, it, it was fine. But after that, it was just uh, shot after shot. For the most part, I was pulling off. Um, the tee ball on the 15th, it was dead into the wind. And yeah, I just saw my playing partner drive. hit one straight up into the air with so much side spin that it started coming <laughs> back to us and <laughs> still Run. landed in play. <laughs> and I told myself, I'm not going to let that happen. Let me just aim at the bunker in the middle and hit a draw off of it. And yeah. by God, I did it. And I'm like, yeah. I can do this. And then at that yeah. point, the game started getting more fun because every par I had up to that point was a scramble par. Stru- yeah, those were the I worst was, I was not hitting yeah. greens. I had to make five, six-foot putts all day long for a par, and it was it was getting to the point where I was like, I'm done with this. We've yeah. been on the course for an hour. We've played three holes. Yeah. You know? it's like, oh, was God. it that slow? It, it was slow. It was over wow. a five-hour round. Of yeah. Day. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. that sounds slow. horrible. Teed off at nine. So, we got done. Oh. But Back yeah. in past two. Past two? Oh, oh my, my God. God. So, but, uh, I'm so I, glad I didn't play today. Ooch, right? mama. That's, yeah. a, that's a long round of golf. But Mitch was giving me a hard time the, the whole round because I hit so many balls <laughs> then. He goes, man, you are really good at flighting your ball today. <laughs> H or B? Uh, B. 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 Yeah. B, okay. Yeah. H wasn't here today. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, Hoff would have been like, eh, he'll hit it. He'll yeah. hit yeah. B but, doesn't but, let those things slide. Gotta love B. Why is that man screaming over there? I don't there? know. Yeah. He's, he's, it was loud. Go, Pete. He's, he's excited about gripping golf. How did, yeah. how did your golf exactly. go? We, we love you too. Uh-huh. So I, I too played this morning. Yeah. Um, and then oh. I played well. I'm, I mean, shot an eighty-eight. It was a grind. Um, for those who don't know, I'm 
I don't get to play as frequently as the rest of the crew, um, so I'm still working on some stuff with a swing, I'm trying not to move laterally during my swing mm. and uh, hit it low left. It's my favorite uh, shot. And it's, so a good, it's a good looking shot. It, I have it too. It is. Don't worry. When there's not trees and <laughs> yeah. left. Yeah. Those look good. Yeah. What is this? Who's oh, ribs? Mark, Mark sent me a photo of some we're ribs. We're going to Mark's house. Mark there. Matthew, we're yeah. going to your house. I, why do I <laughs> say, always say people's names? I'm such a jerk. No, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was like <laughs> Dave. Dave said he made the scrambling pars. Yeah. Um, I just didn't make the putts. I hit gotcha. the ball a lot better than I have in a long time. But you have a great swing. Like, you have a really sound, fundamentally sound swing, I well, feel like. I'm glad you feel that way. Cause it looks great. I don't feel like it's You're on plane. Anywhere. You're really on plane. Yeah, it's just little things like yeah. your club face being open and yeah. shut. I mean, and, and so just yeah. little little yeah. things that the lateral right move in. doesn't help, but but it's not. I would say fundamentally, when you're you're on plane really well, like I love it. I think it's yeah. it's very Ben Hogany. You have a very good tempo. Yeah, tem- if if I don't have tempo, I'm uh, you're second it, to Mark for it's, tempo. It's terrible, <laughs> um, but yeah. So we play well. We uh, I I couldn't believe we halved. Um, the whole match. I thought we'd win some. <laughs> the money. Nassau, the Have Nassau. The, yeah, uh, but uh, did you win? Did did so like won the first or it was just all half the so, whole way? So, um, well, Andy mm-hmm. nabbed the scorecard before they could look at it. I, I looked at everything. It was oh. back and forth on the front nine. Literally, wow, nobody got more than one hole ahead on the yeah. front nine, and that ended up square. The back nine, we were down two with two to play, <laughs> and then the last two holes. We squared it back up. Yeah. Nice. We did not finish what you yeah. would call strong. Mm, strong yeah. finishers. We uh, did not hit the green on 17 um, uphill with the wind. That's a tough I hole I think Andy today. hit like an eight iron, and he blew it into that guy's pool almost. <laughs> um, Andy, yeah. And That's right. That's I, very far I right. hit mine left in you know my normal uh, hay field, so I was dropping. Oh. And then, yeah, it was, it was – is this not a strong, strong finish? Strong finish. Yeah. For but I, I will tell you my best shot of the day. So 15 was playing really hard. Mm-hmm. Um, didn't hit a great drive. A lot of, little spin, so it was short of the bunkers. Hit a decent uh, three wood. Four, John the Beer Maiden. Thank my, you. My four wood to uh, at 148 yards. Mm. And is in the, just in the right rough. I'm, like, I'm going back between a seven and a six. You know what? I'm not what do you normally hit? 150. I on my new clubs, I'd hit an eight iron. Okay, but it, you know, uphill into the wind. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's at least one, and mm-hmm. so I asked. It was my a teammates, two club wind all day long. I asked my teammates. I'm like, Are you, is this two club wind? He's like, I got three clubs. Yeah, there was there was <laughs> holes like, I was taking three extra. Like okay, and I just peered the six iron to eight feet. Yeah. Ooh, missed the putt. <laughs> eh, but it was maybe the best shot I've hit. In, Five months. You yeah. know, maybe maybe the listeners would be interested in doing what I do is write the USGA every year in hopes to eliminate putting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have it be an I, elaborate I game of darts. Or closest to the pin or the next hole. Yeah. You win. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with eight-inch cups. Yeah, I love that idea. Eight-inch yeah. cups would be nice. Yeah. yeah. I'd be a great putter. Yeah. I mean, today, I don't know. I would you, though? I don't know. Because, you know it's, because your mess is always on the edge. You're it is. I'm an edge putter. Edge. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. a rim. I've, because I rim of speed? You trying uh, to diet in the hole? No, you're well, I, you're I, I used to be a dyer, and I'm trying to get to the point, honestly, with a lot of the putting mat stuff that we did, the reviews, which are not out yet, listeners. We'll get them out soon. They're coming. Wait, wait, wait. We, we did coming. putting mat reviews? Yeah. That's awesome. Those yeah. are going to be great. They're you were there. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah, okay. <laughs> helping. Sometimes Chuck does Three of the four and ready longer. to load. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'll be number one by our wives, parents, <laughs> and closest friends, too. And yes. money game uh, golfers. And money yeah, game golfers. And money game golfers. No, but... I've I've been tr- I'm trying to get it past the hole and and honestly with uh, Zen Golf a little bit too of just seeing where the ball will cross that line mm-hmm. into the hole yeah. and letting it fall in not thinking right edge left edge and yeah. all that stuff because so. most of your missed putts yesterday were by an inch or two yeah just one edge or the other 
That's it. Those yeah. are all birdie putts too. Yeah, and That's I, ju- it? I just wanted to be like Billy. Will you please just aim at the back of the cup? <laughs> wow, <laughs> please and like, ram it in there. But you I was are, like, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. You're on yeah. the cusp of something if you can get that kind of. If I if I start really making putts, you just I mean, need to see a couple fall. Yeah, and yeah. after yeah. that, the floodgates yeah. will open. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's yeah. how it was for me. No, I feel good about my stroke and yeah. everything. I just it's you just should. not it's not going in the hole. Yeah, it's it's perfectly straightforward and straight back. Yes, that was a priceless argument to watch you and Daniel on the putting green yesterday. Today. I will show him the video footage, <laughs> and then he will eat my hat. What's I thought that? I thought that they were really going to fight. I really, really did. What, what was the topic? So this has been a topic on previous podcasts. But well, Dave, Dave has been editing videos of the putting mat reviews yes. that we've done, and he made the comment to me. He said, "By the way, you have a perfectly straight back and straight through putting stroke." And he goes, "It's beautiful. I, I've watched it a hundred times or a thousand times editing these videos." And Daniel goes, that's not possible. There's no way that he can have it perfectly straight You've back and forth. And, and Dave just goes, I will show you the footage. I was not backing down. Yeah, Yo, you were. Because then he, like, clarified it, or he tried to yeah. He tried to make a statement. Well, I mean, there's oh, probably, lean, like, 0. 0.5 degrees. Yeah, it is. Oh, well. yeah. You know, he's, he throws out 0. 0.5 degrees. I'm like, no, no. We're, we're not going to get that technical yep. about it. It's straight back and straight it through. It looks straight back, straight through. Yeah. Just a yeah. just a chime in here. A Ryder Cup uh, U.S. is at 18. Yeah. Europe is at 9. And for anybody One watching. One match out. I'm looking down at Billy's phone. Yeah. yeah. If you see me looking down, that's not, what I'm looking at. Not sure any, it is. In, sure nothing it is, else. John. Yes. Nothing yeah. else. Yeah. Sure it is, John. Um, you guys are a little close over there. So how terrible was my putting stroke on video? <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> can, can I you say, I'll, rate I'll it, tell rate him it from he 0 to 10. Yeah. So, okay. So, the tempo of your stroke is very good. Amazing. Okay. Nothing else is good. <laughs> Strictly by textbook standards of putting strokes. Yeah. It physically should not work. <laughs> yeah. But if you but it after, does. After watching my golf but swing, it, it shouldn't work either. Well, talking to Clayton last week on la- for, for yeah. last week's yeah. episode. Yeah. I, 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 Which is I not out. It'll be released right. scene this yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. I, I said, you know, John Stroke should not work. But the man makes putts when he needs to. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it works putter. for you. And well, so you're like the perfect. Oh, one, so. Fitzpatrick just hit a terrible yes. shot. Oh, did terrible. he shank He put it, it into I, the water. We watched him shank I it s- once. I see oh. it right here behind you guys. Yeah. I want to say something. Wow. So you guys are a little delayed on well, your phone, uh, by the way. Wow. But yeah, so. Um, Sorry. I, I, I completely lost my train of thought. Well, we were uh, talking Clayton. About John's, his, Clayton. Yeah, John's putting stroke. Yeah. John's putting stroke. Show it works me. for him. It work. works yeah, for so him. Yeah, so like, yeah. you know, you, you see the golfers today, and every single one of them, you know, they've got the video of their of their swings and everything, and everybody's swing is, like, technically perfect. Yeah. You are the continuation of the 70s and 80s golfer yeah. that has a swing that shouldn't work, yeah. but just does. Works because for them. I'm Al Geiberger. You've, you've worked on it for so long that it just works yeah. for you. <laughs> Al's so. listening right What's now the, going, you are no guy, bro. <laughs> yeah. He shot a, he's the first guy to shoot 59. Yeah. That's true. Wow. But Dropping some knowledge. I'm knowledge don't you have an right Al there. Geiberger uh, uh, persimmon head club? I do have an Al Geiberger persimmon nice. head. Two wood. Nice. Two wood. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's well, what I was just curious. So, yeah, so Daniel John. Berger's on the 18th green, tied in the match. He needs a two-putt to win, and his opponent is in... The water. water. Yeah, it, yeah. Looked, it looked pretty bad. His yeah. opponent is wet. Yeah. Well, and like, not even close. It was 20 yards yeah, short. Pressure yeah. got to him. Yeah. yeah. And if it's like happens. Billy, it's like Billy Daniels playing Dave Miller. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, that, that was bad. <laughs> that yeah, was that so was, bad. I, I did see that. We should have yeah. videoed that. That was. Yeah. Um, all right, so moving to uh, golf news, birdies and bogeys, which Ooh. is nothing. It's just, it's yeah, just Ryder Cup. Cup. Ryder yeah, Cup's Ryder happening. Cup. We're going to be doing a post Ryder Cup episode, which will air ahead of this. Yeah. So if you've listened to this and you want to go back and hear what happened in the Ryder Cup again, even though you're probably watching it, go oh. get that episode. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and if you're really confused, get a time machine. Yeah. Get a time and go back and just time. know yes. that right now it's really close between the two. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you're gonna want to listen to that. As yeah. close as yeah. John and Billy at the end of the yeah. table. Exactly. <laughs> you guys yeah. are just as close as we are. No, we are not. No, we're, okay. Uh, we're over here fully man spread, and yeah. we're not even touching. Well, we're comfortable with ourselves. Our knees are. Yeah. So are we. Okay. Yeah, you know, we can't see your lower halves, so we don't know what's happening. Yeah, where's Pete, Dave's left hand? If yeah. Pete not. <laughs> oh, okay. Jazz hands. <laughs> Jazz hands. If Pete and I get too close space. together, our gravitational pull will crawl. Yeah. Right. John and I will be over there. Yeah. 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 Everything will move. <laughs> Time be will bad. fold in upon itself. <laughs> Stuff will fall off the yeah, wall. Think it right. would be bad. Oh, my gosh. Bad, so. yeah. All right. Well, have, speaking of that, have you guys seen the uh, the uh, tenant? 
movie. Oh, it's a great movie. I've oh watched like the first twenty minutes yet. and then I oh, got you, to watch it and then rewatch it. You gotta yes, I've watched yeah, it like watch twenty it times. So like yeah. it's the it's it's the same guy that did Interstellar, right? Yes. All right. Well, Interstellar is probably one of my and, favorite movies. And the guy that did yeah. uh, Inception. Inception. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Christopher you, Nolan is his yeah. name. When yeah. it's over, and you're like, Batman, holy crap! And Pat Rises. And Pat Rises. Where are the drugs? You've got to. Where's pain? We are dabbling into Miller's field of ex- yeah. one of his many field of expertises. Pete, you gotta, movies. you've got to give it about an hour and a half to get into it, and then you'll and then finally figure it out. You'll, you'll, you, you got. I'm, I'm a little slow. Uh, you got to, you got to watch an hour and a half. Yeah. It then you'll be like, you wow. You'll be yeah. like, okay. Yeah, I'm be I don't project. know if it technically yeah. made sense, but I enjoyed it. I, it doesn't. Uh, like there, I do get to the end of it every time. I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're yeah. saying I should or should not edit videos while watching it? You won't. No. You no, got to You got to shut off. It you doesn't gotta, sound like you could do both. No. Right. You got to. Uh, you got to. I mean, if anybody in. could pull it off, Miller, it'd probably yeah, be probably you. you. Me. Yeah. Yeah. No. So yeah. I tried. I tried to watch that new movie, Kate. It's. Um, gosh, oh yeah, I know you're talking. Yeah, it's on Netflix. While I was editing hmm. videos and I looked up and the movie was over, I'm like, God oh, dang it. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen that. The it's preview just for like that. a it's like a revenge shoot 'em up yeah. movie. Oh. She crosses the oh, She looks pretty I know awesome. what you're talking about. Yeah. It's got Bru- or, uh, Mary Elizabeth. Michael Winstead. Keaton's in it. Is Michael yeah, Keaton? No. In? No. Uh, no. Woody Harrelson is. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I don't Mary yeah. Elizabeth Winstead. Oh, and while we're on mm. it, I saw Cry Macho on Friday. Yeah. Don't. Don't no. Oh, I just not worth it. Not worth it? Don't. It's it's the craziest thing. Not that this is a golf related. <laughs> Clint Eastwood golfs. I think he owns a golf course. Yeah, he probably owns he several. He lives at Pebble. Yeah. He's 91 years old. Yeah. yeah. Like, I love you, Clint, but boy, what he was He looked that? old in The Mule. He looked like yeah. an old woman in Man, this that movie. that movie was something else, wasn't he it? He looked like yeah. Dorothy from Golden <laughs> Girls in this movie. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, now <laughs> I'm really interested. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. Now I'm going to watch it. I was sitting there watching John. it. Well, I watched it with a guy that knows a lot about movies. Yeah. yeah, you, you know watch it with Dave. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. Are we talking about and Excellent's like Golden Girls? You watch with no <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yes. We do on Saturday. No, that's okay, what, that's what he does yeah. in his free time. Yeah, that's everyone Saturdays. has stopped listening to this but, episode. Yeah. <laughs> the the movie or two packed. people are interested yes. in it. I'm not going to yeah. defend myself. All right, let's see get to what, the meat see and what potatoes. Happens when we get Pete in here, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, Pete, you're off the podcast. What? Yeah. I don't know how I drink. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. Oh, wait, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did, did Dave buy something? Did Billy buy something? Oh. Well, but the segment is titled, Did Dave Buy Something? Yeah, yeah. did Dave buy so, something? True. Dave did buy something. Dave did, did buy. Let's all go first because okay. I, I really think you're. I did buy something. I bought a new golf bag. Yay. I bought, yeah. It's got plenty of flair. <laughs> it's got eight pockets. It's very patriotic. Yes. It's very patriotic. It has an American it's, flag on it. It does. It's red, white, and blue. Yes. Uh, I like it's, it. a, it's a navy blue with red Sharp. accents. It's a ta- tailor made. I think it's a hyper light tech, is what it's called. Um, I needed a new bag. I hadn't had a new bag since probably 2009. And so. Oh my God. Really? It's 12 years. It? Yeah. Wow. All so. Right. So. What happened is I got a new bag. Well, Bobby got my old bag. So Bobby has a new bag, too. Good for him. Yes. So like And, and we store. counted we counted all the golf balls in his bag. Let, in how Bobby's? Many, yes. Wait. How many golf balls do you think he has? Oh, I'll take 31. Uh, I'm going to go I, with he's easily got four dozen in there. I was gonna, Okay. I've never ridden with Bobby. I've played with Bobby quite mm-hmm. a bit, but I've never been in the same cart with him okay. to, like, you know. Check out his bag. He has yeah. a bulging bag. Um, Check out his but bag. The way, you know, I it's a new segment. Check out his bag. Yeah. <laughs> At least three. You said what? Four dozen? I said four dozen. I said 31. Yeah, that's 48. Dollars. I have almost three dozen in mine. That's, that's not surprising. surprising. Uh, I mean, yeah. I probably, I would say between 40 and 45. Okay. Eight and a half dozen. <laughs> oh, holy Lord. <laughs> How? <laughs> wow. Is he just. Uh, he's got that, you know, the big. Bag yeah. pouch or ball pouch His on it. That thing is bag. full. Like it's like you got to zip it, and it's like you can't get more Eight balls in and there. A half and dozen. then he has three dozen in the side, the big side pouch. Eight it's and like, a half dozen. Yes, there were five dozen loose golf oh balls. Oh my gosh! Yeah. What? what? what why? Yeah. Well, because he says he'll lose them all. That's that would be. If, <laughs> I mean, it's, if I lost eight and a half dozen golf balls in a round, that's, that's hundred and two <laughs> a hundred and two golf balls. It's a lot, lot of golf balls. Wow. I think I have uh, four He could hit a new bag. golf ball every shot. That's impressive. And he would probably. I, mean, I need to whittle down to a dozen. I have four. I carried when uh, I've been carrying about a dozen I don't at know a why. time. Yeah. Just because I, I just don't want all Only that you. in my bag anymore. Yeah. So, but yeah. That's interesting. So wow. I bought a new bag. I also purchased a new shaft. Uh, I've got the uh, Hazardous X, or uh, I'm sorry, Hazardous Smoke RDX. Am I saying that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, 6.570 gram of my driver. 
and uh, I purchased the 60 gram, and we're gonna put we're gonna butt cut the 70 gram and put it in my three wood. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I just make intensely well major eye contact with his Dave. Eye right. guy. Yeah, it's yeah. well, I'm looking right at him, yeah. <laughs> um, and Very we're gonna butt cut that. Intimate. We might Are even they? we might even tip trim it just to make sure. Tip it's, trim it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what are you hoping to accomplish with this new? My current three wood, love it. It's the Sim Two Max. It feels great, you it. but I hit. I do hit it very well. But I'm currently fighting the snap hooks with it, and so I just need to, as Dave would say, is I'm torquing the shaft way too much, and so it's it's it just snaps. Everything else is is pretty darn straight. Not a lot of curve to it, and then I put the three wood in my hand, and it just goes zoo, way left, and it's yeah. pretty consistent. Yes. So there's two yeah. solutions. One is swing easier with it, and two, get a new not shaft. Possible. That's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not possible. No. 110% every swing uh-huh. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the f- pedal to the metal. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh-huh. See them trees? I'm going over. Yeah. Nice. Uh-huh. I like nice. that. Go that's for broke. A, yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. Probably not the best strategy. Yeah. Uh, it works half the time. But that's what I, so that's what I bought in the Dave, did Dave buy something segment. Yeah. So. And I, I bought a putter. I looted it. Alluded to That's it right. last time. Yeah, um, I've I've started to fall quickly into the hole of swag golf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That was the wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh, there we that go. was the right oh, button. Yeah, yeah. Right button. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just kind of I'm still getting my <laughs> my toes wet. I'm I'm not uh, into the uh, thousands swag. of dollars of of head covers situation, but. I did get uh, a swag suave two suave uh-huh. swag putter. suave, and you gamed it today. I gamed it today and, and yesterday. yesterday. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I had some really good putts and I had some really bad putts. Yeah, just like with any other putter, it seems oh. like. Um, I'd return it. Yeah, so it's not the putter. It, I mean, well, I'll give you. A, <laughs> it's always the putter. <laughs> it's always the putter. Whether it's the person holding the putter or the putter itself. <laughs> yeah, it's still the putter. It's always the putter. Are Pete and John making as much eye contact as you and I are? No. I don't know. We're yeah. not. I mean, we can. I, I, I'm not going to interrupt I this. mean, I'm watching both, but yeah. They're yeah. Oh, okay. sexual life I mean, partners. This is, it's okay. They're used is, to each other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is what it is. If my wife ever comes to her senses, like, I know. We're going to room together. I got John on the back. Yeah. 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 On the back. John uh-huh. the back. If she comes to her senses. <laughs> you guys would, what you you guys would tear me? down a house just between the two of you snoring. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the abandoned trip yeah. on that no, aspect. No, no, but you, you have to pick your buddy, right? You I've already, Dave yeah. and I have yeah. already had a discussion. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. There, there you go. You guys are yeah. bed buddies. Yeah, we're bed buddies. I don't know who I'm camping out with. You two, the loudest snorers. You got Earl. I got Earl. And so, like, so you've got Doug. Oh. Whoever, yeah, Doug doesn't go to sleep fast, though. I'm going to have to hit him in the head with something every night. Oh, is he going to chip? Because, like, the thing is, I fall asleep in two hey, seconds John, and then I snore. What are you going to hit on number no, one tee tomorrow? Well, you're not keeping. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> these, these two know you're not keeping John up. No, yeah. When he's no. asleep, when, he's asleep. Oh, John's okay. on a mission when he puts on his night t shirt. Yeah. He's like, all right, yeah. I'll see yeah. you guys in the morning. Yeah. How did we get to the? We're talking about swag putters, yeah. and we got here. Uh, that's what we do. Sorry. So I don't know. Okay. That's what about. happens when we, when we had it. Our <laughs> mediator is yeah. not on task. Back <laughs> to your swag. You know what? It was hard enough with two. Now there's yeah. three. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I think Dave's going to quit the podcast. <laughs> yeah, no. A no, frozen turkey. Yeah. Yes. I, I, yes. I told these guys that adding Pete would be adding the frozen turkey into the Oh fryer. yeah, fryer. Yeah. Yeah. And sure. and guess yeah. what? We're on fire now. Yeah, we're, it's a fire. Yeah, it's a dumpster fire. Hopefully, it's entertaining. Yeah, yes. thirty minutes. In. Well, we'll see. We'll find it's out. It's entertaining yeah. to us. I love it. Yeah, right. I I can hear the downloads. I can't wait to go home and. We're already thirty minutes in. You said yeah. 32, 33. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, so we should yeah. probably yeah. Let's so do the suave put, or the suave two putter swag putters. It's it's milled from a complete block of metal three hundred three stainless. They call it feels good three hundred three stainless. It looks steel. really good. Yeah, it's it uh, the mm-hmm. the neck is milled. It's not welded on. The back flange is uh, level. If you look at the Scotty Newport style, um, that flange has a line on it. So th- those are kind of the things that uh, they say differentiates their product. It's a great feeling putter. It's got a good heavy head. Um, maybe I'll do a full on review, but uh, so far I'm liking it. So good. Um, and, and the fact that I'm putting well with it allows me to go ahead and send my Scotty in for a deep blackening. Ooh. Darkening. Really? 60, yeah. Is that the 62? Darkening. Is that the one you no. got? The no, it's not no, the no. circuit. It's um. the, my, my uh, Phantom uh, okay. 5.5, the mallet that I've been using. All right. Because one, once I saw the 9.5 on the release in triple black, I was like, I've got to have a putter that looks like that. Okay. So, 
That's how easily influenced wow. I am. When is this getting sent off and when does it come back? Because I would be interested in that final product. Um, I don't know and I don't know. Uh, the hmm, the good, place that I sent it to, data. the last time I sent him a putter. Um, this is just an actual tease for our listeners. Dave does know. We just no, have to I, stay I, tuned. I, I haven't decided. I want to know. <laughs> I, I have not decided when I want to drop the money on it. Um, I, I usually send mine to the putter spa, um, putter spa. by Jeremy Richards, J. Rich. Um, last time I sent a putter to him, he had it turned around inside a week. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. So it was a really quick turnaround. Do you still have that putter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what, Please. What could he do to the ugly? Probably throw it away. Uh, it. <laughs> Although one of our newer uh, Saturday Sunday morning golf buddies has the crazy. The crazy. And you guys played together. Yeah. Yeah. The week. crazy. The ping the crazy. Uh, yeah. Oh the god. Crazy and the ug. That's a lot of. You should have heard those putters talking in the cart. They were like. <laughs> they were <laughs> like. Well, how are we still? Well, wow. Us? Look at you. Yeah. Well, look at you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, yeah, All they right. made eye contact in that cart. They for sure made eye oh, contact. Yeah, sure. Deep eye yeah. contact. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> passionate, longing, passionate. Uh, <laughs> should we be concerned? There's a Spring Hill COVID nineteen spike, and we're in. <laughs> we're in Spring Hill. No, that's that's yeah. the schools they're talking Is about. It you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is it yeah. you? We're good. <laughs> I'm, maybe. <laughs> So, all right, uh, well, let's get into the meat and taters then. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Let's right. do this. Yes, so, please. I'm excited. We're at a golf course, right? Currently. Correct. Um, yes. So, let's talk about golf courses. Oh, I love that. Let's idea. do how it. That, how good, does that sound? Good idea. I, like I think so. Uh, we've been milking this for a very long time. My friend John, my old high school friend John um, from Manhattan, Kansas. Uh, what, what? He asked a question. Kansas State um, University. They lost yesterday. Yeah, how they, yeah. They, how they played. They got beat they pretty lost. badly. Oklahoma State. Yeah, it wasn't. Wah, wah. It wasn't pretty. So he yeah. he sent a question about golf courses. We're going to do an episode about golf courses, and we'll get to his question once we kind of lay out what we think of golf courses in general. Did okay. I say golf course enough? I think we're talking uh, about golf courses. Golf yes. courses. All right, let's golf do it. Courses. A couple more it. times for the transcript, so we get some SEO benefits. So golf all courses. Right. So here we go. What, in your opinion, makes a specific golf course a great golf course? Are there certain features that you're looking at? I love this. Are there mm. aspects of a golf course that you like or dislike? Um, take it away. Listeners, what, what buckle in like for a five-hour oh, episode. Yeah. I was going to say, I yeah. saw yeah. these yeah. questions. We don't have enough Sean tape. Yeah. Yeah. Loves this. Um, I'll start. I'll kick it off. I think, I think just an overall, I preach this way too much, but experience is the big thing from even from the first time you drive in from the parking lot to the clubhouse to the driving range. Um, yeah. I think of Buffalo, uh, Buffalo Springs Ridge, no, the, Buffalo the Ridge Buffalo Springs. Ridge in Branson. Yeah. It's three words. Buffalo though. Ridge. Yeah. Buffalo they Ridge. They changed it yeah. to three word name. It is? Yeah. yeah. Springs, like Springs of Buffalo, Buffalo Ridge. Buffalo Ridge Springs. Springs or Buffalo or Springs. Or Springs. Springs. That seems yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, John. I mean, uh, I'm not a I'm not a billionaire yeah. businessman. Um, Talk to that he other knows. John and, and yeah. tell him. Yeah. That. yeah, Mark. Mark recently played it. Yeah, and it is just it's it's jaw dropping when you walk mm-hmm. in. It's just a, it sits on the top of that bluff. The the driving range is just beautiful, and uh, you know that for me, aside from the course, can really you remember that? So like, yeah, yeah. I, w- I would agree. It adds to yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I mean, but if I mean we've all been at course. I, I'll give the counterpoint to that. Okay. Right. Arcadia Bluffs, which yeah, is I was going to bring this up yeah. on top hundred. It's in the top twenty yeah. of all courses, so that's private included. Okay, we've played it twice. First time was Stop great. Bragging. We had a great, great time. Yeah. It was cold. Yeah, um, it was Thirty foot deep bunker, at least. Yeah. It was. Uh. <laughs> Second time we played, all looking forward to it. They hadn't opened their south course yet. I think it opened that fall. Yeah. Um, and it was, you know, great conditions. Still the same course. We made that turn, and we had been waiting, and the staff there was like, you guys are way behind pace. You oh, guys I was going to bring something else up. up. And we're yeah. like, oh. that was a dump. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, no. And, and yeah. literally from that point on, the rest of the round was really rough. Mm. Yeah. It just mm. dumped on the whole round. Yeah. and So the, and the customer experience wasn't great. It was I, weird. It, like it you was. pay money to play this place. Yeah, a lot of money. I mean, yeah. that was like a two hundred dollars or something like that. that yeah, well, mm-hmm. we had one in, got drinks, came right back out. Maybe spent five minutes at the turn. Yeah, and they were on us like white on rice. Yeah, it was. All right, I was going to bring guys up need refills. The counter. Do we? Yeah, I was going to bring it. up. I'd take another one. Just I was to bring up the counterpoint of the first time we played. 
Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was cold. And they did have cart covers and cart heaters. Mm. Yeah. So like, I, I don't want to soil the whole thing with that one experience. Even that one experience was really tough. The other thing that was weird is that when we got done, we got out to the rental van, oh, and they'd right. washed the window. I forgot. And they said, we hope and the view. And they put a business card in yeah, it. Yeah, I still have it. The card said, we hope the view of Arcadia Bluffs was great. We want you to have a good view, like, leaving the course. Yeah. And we're like, these people came out and cleaned the car. Like, what is this all about? Thank so you. I'll come and pay um, it was, that was cool. Thank you. Um, however, but, yeah, that, oh, don't, don't, don't throw it. I can't catch Toss anything. it. Toss it. Um, but, yeah, that, that. Last time we played, that was yeah. rough. When the, and it was it like was. not even a courteous like, boys. Just if you don't mind picking it up a little bit, that'd be great. No, it but was it, it was, was like it was rude in your face. Like, like, was like, oh like hey, I don't care that you just dropped two bills. Yeah, mm. plus a bunch of money on food and drink and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I will counter. I will come at the other angle of that though. When you're when you have the entire course and there's other people that have paid two hundred dollars too. What's their experience? We weren't like? playing but slow. But the thing yeah, was, we weren't, we weren't playing slow. It Got it. Slow. Okay. And there was you know nobody me. pushing us. Because because uh, I was at, I was at, when I was in Chicago as a professional there, the the rounds were two hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. And and we we stressed it. Yeah. Big time. I mean, and if someone fell behind pace five minutes, we were out there. I mean, but that's the thing. Like yeah. we yeah. and we've learned it. Like we all mm-hmm. play better fast golf. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So and and that's off topic. Yeah. yeah. On that same. What trip, about golf courses? Do you like? <laughs> on that same trip, I think I. Long and Welcome to Pete, that. ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't help with this, but yeah, like, that was the experience. Yeah. T- what was the yeah. original question? Yeah, oh, what makes yeah. a great well, golf? What makes a great, oh, makes a great golf? Okay. Okay. All right. The you what? Pure golf that I've played, mm-hmm. and on that list, I think I've played most of the public except for the one in Vegas, and um, there's one other one. Pure golf? No. On the top 100. Oh, okay. You played all but two? You've played 98 golf courses? Yeah, I've played. I said, of the public, I yeah. think I've played all but two. Yeah. Oh, wow. Of the uh, top 100? There's only like 10 p- public courses on there. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, of yeah. the top 100. Yeah, the ones that are private. public. Got the ones it. ones that are public. Okay. Mm-hmm. Five of them are That in, was not registering Five of them are in Bandon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apologize which, for the vacuuming happening in the background. Which we'll play. Yeah. Um, four students. Probably, hands really? down, one of Forest the- Forest was amazing. One of the funnest courses. Even though I didn't play well. One of the funnest, yeah. nicest courses I've ever been. But on. back to the question: What about it did you like? I liked how he, <laughs> I liked how they routed it. Um, so you know that front nine is trees. There's a couple that you get a little bit of the dunes, but then you have a whole separate back nine that's all the dunes out there. Um, but he, you know, Weisskopf hides a lot of things. You're yeah. like, oh, that bunker's in play, and then mm. you thirty. Hit, the, then you hit your shot, and you get up it was there like, like thirty yards past it. Oh, okay. a perfect well, fairway. You know, it's yeah. just that any. But he does that, and he, the uniqueness that he crafts his greens in, they're not huge, but they're not small. There's four pin placements on most of his greens. Yep. Yeah. Bring that microphone closer to your mouth. There you go. He did. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Gooder. Is that gooder? Oh, my gosh. There we it's go. so much better. Yeah. Um, we have I got over there. <laughs> yeah. But really, just the, the oh, look. I'll, I'll be his handler. Too He's loud. the Pete Wrangler. Yeah. <laughs> the look in your eye when you're standing on the tee. I thought yeah. every Suit shot we had there was like, well, this is the best yep. golf hole wow. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about their cart paths for a second. The entire course yeah. had stamped concrete. Stamped concrete. Yes, it did. Paths. Really? Yep. Yeah. Their That's club, impressive. Also, their yeah. clubhouse was money. Their clubhouse oh, yeah. was See? a giant was, log cabin. The only one that I've seen that was more <laughs> impressive was the one at Cog Hill. Yeah. Mm. Oh, was that? Yeah. That Bacon. was. See, I think I think it's interesting because we're talking about the aesthetics parts of yeah. a golf course. We're not yeah. really talking about the golf course. I'll right. dig into the golf course. No, I know, I know you yeah. will, but I think I think ultimately at the end of the day, what makes people remember a certain golf course is, is the experiences within that yeah. whole, whole thing. thing. Oh yeah, like, agreed. Like how many times you get up to like here's our signature hole, and you're like, okay. Yeah. Like it's beautiful. Like in the moment it's beautiful, but it's not the reason you go back to that golf course. There's something there. I would say yeah. Alabama, yeah. Uh, the mm-hmm. Robert Trent Jones golf trail. We've played mm-hmm. that a couple of times and there's some really fun courses there, but I would also add that it's that Southern hospitality they have. Like yeah. they know yeah. that they're getting everybody from the United States. Like there. The, yeah. the, the Eisenhower golf course in Colorado Springs. We got to go into the clubhouse. They, they redid their entire clubhouse 
And we got to go in before it was open to the public. The lower part was open, but the upper part wasn't. And it was amazing. And they talked so much about how they just wanted people here. You know, it was about. Is that the one at the. Uh, on the Air Force Air Base. For, Air yep. Force Academy. Yep. So they have the blue and the silver course yep. there. And so we played the silver course. And then we got to have a tour of the clubhouse. And it was amazing. I would also say the same thing about Colbert Hills out in Manhattan, Kansas, is they made it a destination, not for just golfers to come, but there's a, a restaurant there. They, yeah. you yeah, know, the people want to go. It's much better than the mobile. Yes. They got well, a good setup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got a and good setup. Yeah. And, and then you look at Ov- uh, Sykes Lady of Overland Park Golf Course here in Kansas City. Their new clubhouse is insane. It's amazing. Oh, it's awesome. yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've put, yet to get into there. You need yeah, to go. So have a burger or something. It's cool. It's good food. It's good beer. Uh, and it sits over the backside. So you can look. Uh, it's whole three south. Comes right back at the clubhouse. It's very yeah. similar to where it was before. Slightly moved. Um but there's a artificial two artificial Special putting greens. greens on the back. Then to the to the left and up is the real putting green. Not a real. It's a real turf putting green that you can put on, and you can walk around the whole facility with a beer. And, and it's cool. It's great. It's cool. But I think that's I think that's a uh, that's what my point is. Is like we go to these things, and it's the totality of the experience that makes it. It's not yeah. just like one singular thing. To me, at least. You but know, I will argue. You know, unless it's a hot dog. And and part of, the, like, yeah. <laughs> It's true. And part of this may be nostalgia on my part, but talking about golf in Manhattan, like I, I, I grew up playing on Stag Hill. Which one? Okay, Stag. Great yeah. course. And then I also played out at Rolling Meadows in Junction City. The best course also, out there. Uh, also amazing great golf course. But I will tell yeah. you, those two do not have the nicest clubhouses. They don't. No. They don't no. have the nicest golf carts. It's the character, though. It's the character, of yeah. the course. Yeah. And so yeah. I don't go out there for an experience. The only experience I'm caring about when I go out there is getting a quick 18 in. Right. And which is what we would do. Or, you know, when I was in high school, me and my buddy would go out to Rolling Meadows and play 36 holes. Just go out and walk 36 uh, holes. I that sounds like fun. When I was in college at Manhattan, Kansas, we would go out and play Twilight. It was $6.50. Yeah. I would write checks. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. that's a true golfer. Like, I have no yeah. cash here. Do, here just yeah. blank check. Do, you here's a check yeah. for $6.50. Yeah. It was so amazing. I would put. I would put the experience as the cherry on top. Absolutely. Like, I would say that, like, I will drive, um, what's the one in Nebraska out in the middle? Corey Oaks? No, no, no. no. Wild Horse. Uh, no, you're talking uh, Sand. Oh, not Sand. private one? No, no, Gothenburg. It's the one that's, like, 50 bucks. Wild and Horse. Wild Horse. Yeah. 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 Like, it's six hours <laughs> away. So like, I, said, I, would I, be said, I said it the first time. Yeah. I blocked you out. <laughs> well, um, I know. Wild yeah. Horse would Turn be something that would be. My headphones. Like, I would go out there and play that in a heartbeat. Because it's a, it's supposed to be a spectacular golf course, but I think their clubhouse is, you know, maybe a four thousand square foot facility that might have some yeah. golf balls and golf clubs in it. But I could not really care less. Um, so you, this is up your alley because I know you're I on the, that golf, golf course. course atlas. Oh, that's a great website. So you want to nerd out on golf courses, but I will say I'll keep it short because I know I could drone on forever. Drone. Um, the first thing I want to see on a golf course is like you said, something that suits my eye. Yeah. I want to step up on the first tee, and I don't know why. Why does golf courses always kind of suit my eye? It just he's, look good. He's a genius. Yeah. Um, <laughs> course condition is the second thing. Like, if I'm going to travel somewhere to play golf, oh, yeah. I want the course to be in premium condition. And we played, Pete and I had the pleasure of going out to Bandon and then going to Bend, Oregon, and playing Crosswater. Oh, my God. That was insane. Unreal. We walked out on the first tee, and I'm like, is this grass even real? <laughs> like, Looks like AstroTurf. It was insane. I felt terrible taking a divot out of it. Not big that divot, not, not that bad. Not that bad. But you couldn't get a bad lie. It was crazy. I, I don't know where the picture is. I took a picture on the ground of a golf ball in the fairway because it was pretty so cool. insane. Like That's the golf ball cool. was like hovering on two blades of grass, and they actually did a, a Shell's Wonderful World of Golf with John Daly mm-hmm. and Fred Couples. Yep. And Freddie Couples is on the ninth hole, and he's kind of like you know waiting for John to hit, and he's kind of swinging his club back and forth, and he goes, "Look at look at this grass." He goes, "This this this is just insane." Like to have Freddie Couples comment on the yeah. quality of the golf course, right? Means that golf course was in great shape, and I don't know what we paid. I'd have paid four hundred bucks to play that. You thing. know, it was Sun. It was through Sun River. It like, wasn't bad. If you guys are headed out to Bend, Sun River oh, gets, that was awesome. It's dirt cheap to stay yeah. there, and they're nice. I'm retiring there, and they have yeah. four or five excellent golf, golf course. courses through the resort. <laughs> yeah, and then you got Pronghorn and Tether. Yeah, Road. Cro- Crosswater was like that was the, the condition. Um, that's the thing. That's the other thing I look for. Like, I want to sue my eye, of course, because then I'll play better. But the condition has to be amazing. I, I yeah. like that. I, I agree. Um, yeah. I like, 
I'm not a condition nerd. I mean, I'd love to have it be PGA Tour quality, but yeah. at least the greens. Yeah. Mm. You know, like, yeah. be consistent. Deer Run's a good example. When we played Deer Run, yeah. it was in great shape. Mm-hmm. Greens were like nice. $80. It was mm-hmm. insane. It was a PGA Tour quality golf course. And it was so much fun playing that because you just, you know, you're not going to get screwed by a crappy lie. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're me. Unless you're dead. Well, yeah. <laughs> you do have the yeah. worst luck on the planet. Yeah. Oh, man. But like, so yeah. let me ask you this then, like a, a course like Arcadia Bluffs, and for anybody who has not played it, I'm going to strongly recommend you do so. Oh, it's go amazing. Play it. It's amazing. If, yeah. if, yeah. I've if never course, played it. I'll if the course it. was not, it's hit go not summer, if not. it was not in great condition, would you go back and play it? Yeah, because the layout is so crazy. It's mm. like, it's hypnotic. You will stand on a tee and five minutes will go by and somebody will be like, are you going to hit? Like, I'm sorry, staring at it. Like, yeah. it is that crazy. Uh, so yeah. here's, here's, I don't think so. I th- yeah. you don't think there, so? I've played it twice and I enjoyed both of them, but there are other places I want to play. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And, and if you're going to give me the option, like, I'm not going to make a trip. Well, I didn't give you that option. But I just said, <laughs> would you go back? If, if well, yeah, I'd go back and play Yeah, if you're it. cruising up the West Coast of Michigan. Yeah, quit yeah, changing stop the question. Yeah. Yeah. Stop by and play it. Because it's amazing. Lock and Heath was a great course. Lock and Heath was amazing. Yeah. It does so here, not get enough credit. And I'll, yeah. I'll tell you this much. For me, personally, like, I can't stand playing Colbert Hills. No, I can't. Oh, I don't. It's yeah, not my cup of tea. When we were going to go into the negatives, I was waiting to go into the negatives. Here's the thing. like, And, yeah, we can talk about that. But... If you put Colbert Hills on the banks of Lake Michigan, I'm going there all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I've always said since Colbert Hills has been in existence, it's the it's a great golf course in the wrong city. Yeah, it's it is it's a phenomenal well, layout. It just Manhattan, Kansas. I went to school at Kansas State. I love Manhattan, Kansas, but that course does not live there. Yeah, it would yeah. be. It's a tour caliber caliber course. Yeah, yeah, it is. And and they could definitely be hosting an event, but. They're not going to because it's Manhattan, Kansas. Right. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, I, I love I'm Manhattan. I'm from Manhattan, you know, Kansas, yeah. and I feel yeah. the same way. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. But yeah. I also but feel like there's a lot of courses like that, like oh, yeah. Sand Hills. 100%. In the yeah. middle yeah. of nowhere. That but was those are really supported. That, we don't get to Sand go play Hills that. are built for millionaires. But those are yeah. supported yeah. by yeah. I, people. Reach no one. Who, who, are you talk, who are you talking to that's like, we're going to go spend a weekend playing Colbert Hills? Yeah. Right. I, you, I, don't. I, you don't hear that. Yeah. You don't but hear that. Well, if we're talking about driving out, out there yeah. and coming back in a day. <laughs> we'll do it. Well, yeah, yeah, but, so but like you're not going to go play. Drive. You're not going to spend yeah. a weekend and play three rounds at it. Exactly. If there was more, like the ones in Valentine, Nebraska. So if they built more around it, I think... I think then, then you could. Yeah, have. I think I think for us in this room, we would sit there and say like, okay, if we're going out there, we're going to play Colbert Hills, we're going to play Stag Hill, and yep. we're going to play Rolling Meadows, yes. yep. and it would be fun. We'd play those three courses. But that would make a good you Wednesday, could, Thursday, Friday. Trip. You could honestly throw Colbert Hills off the list. I would <laughs> not. Be, I would not be agree. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so. same we'll put Wildcat Creek more. in instead of Colbert Hills. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> is that the Niner? Manhattan it Country Club. The Niner. Where is Wildcat Creek at? It's in a park. Annenberg Park. Yeah. I've never I, played it. I don't know really. What happened I, not that I know of. It's, yeah. it's nine holes, and you just play it twice yeah. from different tee boxes. Is it down by towards Colbert Hills? Yeah. Okay, then I know where you're talking about. I, yeah. I never played Straight it. Straight down yeah. scenic. Oh. Yep, I know exactly where you're talking yeah. about. Okay, it, it's it's right in between Stag Hill and Colbert, but we're we're digressing again. We're so yeah. off topic. So, is, is there a specific feature on a golf course? If you see this, you're going to love this golf course forever. Ooh, I think. Boy, that's a good. I question. like run on like. Nice run. Even though my short game's trash, mm-hmm. I really like the runoff areas yeah. that you can get creative with the shot. Yeah. Oh, you want to try to clip it real close and get it up there? Or yeah. maybe you want to bunt a three wood up over a hill? I think that that makes options really interesting rather than like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm short side, I'm going to hit a 60, or yeah. I'm just in the rough. Yeah. yeah, I think undulation, elevation changes around the green, specifically for me. Well, manicured greens that have yeah. a lot of movement to them. That's you're gonna remember that. Yeah. Y- yes, it's gonna be hard. Yes, it's gonna suck at times. But I'd go back and be like, "Wow, those are the best greens I've ever played." So going back to, did you play the silver or the blue course at their silver? Course? So they say everything goes to the mountains. Yeah, away from the mountains. Away from the mountains. Yeah. But like mm-hmm. the slope would look like this, but it's going to break that yeah. way if the mountains are here, right? Yeah, it'll go the opposite I mean, direction of what you think. A I lot haven't of times. experienced that, but I think that would be just yeah, be fun. It's, crazy it's, and fun. To I've do. played. I've played all the courses out there. So they have the blue and the the blue is the big course. Yeah. The silver is a is a shorter course, but it's not short by any means. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I've played it three times now. And the first time I played it, they were. The, I got to play it the morning that they were doing the top dressing. So they're Poana greens, 
and they do a light top dressing throughout the season every two weeks. And I mean, it's very light, very fine. And my buddy, who's a superintendent out there, he's not no longer a superintendent. One of my buddies is. The other guy I'm talking about is not. He goes, careful, you will not be able to keep the ball in the green. Just FYI. And I was like, okay. And gave him a little, okay. They're, they're 12s. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Really? It could not keep them on the greens. And it, just because it smoothed every, you know, a Poana just... It was it's it's the, the lowest seating it can yeah. grow. It can seat at such a low height. It's sticky too. Yeah, yeah. And, but they're they were so smooth oh, and they were oh, so fast. Amazing. It was it was some of the best greens I've ever put it on. Would so. you prefer faster greens if you are when you go to a new course or, or something? Or? I would prefer faster greens, but not to the point of where it's just insane. Like I don't want to be playing on Sunday tour quality greens. Yeah, not where you get, can read Taylor made, Taylor made, Taylor right. made. Yeah, because it's rolling. <laughs> yes, <along. laughs> yeah. rolling so slow, uh-huh. but still going to go past the hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like um, I can't think of the uh, was it the PGA Championship where they were watering the greens in between. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't that's, think of the that's course. A insane. East, yeah, yeah. East they do that at Pebble. No, yeah. oh, no, it's out on the East Coast somewhere. It was, yeah, yeah, oh, they, they somewhere. Do, whenever yeah. you're talking about they, they did that Shinnecock. Shinnecock. Yeah. Um, yeah, Shinnecock. I don't want to do that, Like, but I do want a very, like a 12 would be great. I, I think that's part of the experience of like, gosh, this, the course is so good. The greens are so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's that's something you talk about. Your old man's course. Girl's yeah, course. I mean, but that's the difference between 100,000 rounds a year and 10,000 rounds. Yeah. Right. Yeah. FYI, this uh, podcast is brought to you by Hoover. It's a B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It definitely sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <my God. laughs> Clearly, Sycamore is deciding to vacuum. Yeah. It's 530. Yeah. John, still what's, yeah. uh, John what, what's, your, what's your feature specific feature that you're looking for? Uh, it would be variety and options. I want on, you know, there's going to be holes where you don't have an option. It's going to be creek on the mm-hmm. right, woods on the left. But I like holes where you can hit a five iron off the tee and a seven iron into the green or go for it with a driver. Yeah. And uh, I, I always think about Kinderhook. Kinderhook's yeah. one of those courses where you could do. Ice cough. On, yeah, you can do on nine of the holes, you've got like six different ways to play the hole. Yeah. And that to me makes it super interesting. Yeah. So I like that. Like sometimes it's, you know, we've all played courses where Colbert is a good example where. You don't have a lot of options. Sometimes driver. you just got to hit it as far as you can. to hit it far. Yes. 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 Yeah. driver. And, and that to me and, is And for like, those who don't, yeah, it's a long day. And to yeah. me, that's like... Play the appropriate yeah, tees. Yeah, we got you playing the wrong tee box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like for me... I'm and I got to play the four go. tees and still suck out there. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. You'll so get more, you won't get as many pops, so I'll yeah. be happy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's that, that's it. Is It's the options. I want to see options when I'm playing golf. That makes it entertaining. I think it makes the course better for everybody. Yeah. For me, there's two things. The first one is bent grass. Oh, I do love yeah. bent grass. I love golf in the Northeast. Dibbets. And <laughs> two... <laughs> Beaver pelts. Mm-hmm. Two is a large body of water somewhere near the course. I like oh. seeing it on TV, the Pacific Ocean with Pebble Beach, Lake oh. Michigan with Whistling Straits, mm. Lake Michigan, Arcadia Bluffs. Um, played a bunch of golf in the Hudson River Valley. I yeah. consider that a large body of water, golf terms. Yeah. It, that, to me, is, is what's going to set a golf course apart and make me remember it more than... Because of the ambiance or the the way that it dictates just the, the weather, it and I think, it, I think just naturally landscaped into you know just, you yeah. think of Whistling Straits. I mean, I know it's it's a man made majority mm-hmm. of it, but at the same time, it looks like it just was placed there. Yeah, yeah. Chambers just, Bay. Yeah, it's same just, thing. It's so appealing to the John eye, left. Like, He's so frustrated with the episode. He just yeah. left. He's, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That, they brought that Pete <laughs> guy. Screw you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. yeah. It's uh, for you know, me. It's, it's it's something like if if a course is just visually stunning, I don't care if i play crappy i'm just gonna see enjoy i it. i can't get into that i still want to play well yeah. i still, well, I still I'll want enjoy to play it well i'll yeah. enjoy it but i'll be like i want to shoot 75. yeah i mean but last like, time we yeah. played Halfway arcadia bluffs i shot like what was it like an 89 because we accidentally started playing the tips and mm. we didn't, yeah they had the blue tees back on the back it tee was, box and uh, a big course i didn't day. lose a ball i didn't play poorly just right. every approach shot was a three iron and i had a 50 foot putt on a green that was rolling a 2000 mm-hmm. <laughs> you know i forgot about that yeah but i that was a course where but i didn't care because every time you look up from your golf ball like it was just pretty incredible yeah you know what course you'd really love and out of the two in that area that i've played you'd be shocked at which one i would like i'd go back and play more um is trump national out in la like hmm. you talk about a scenic view from every 
hole. Mm-hmm. It's there. You start up at the clubhouse and you just stair step your way down to the ocean. And mm-hmm. every hole you feel like there's no other golf court or no, no other golf hole around you. And you're right there. It's you in the ocean. Yeah. You want to feel that way with Tori. And Tori is beautiful. I'm not going to say that it's not. But me and I just, for the money I spent and everything about it, I like, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd go back. Yeah. I swung by there and picked up a t shirt. And it, it I thought, I looked at it. How was the experience? I looked at it at the course and went, eh. So it's $245 if you're a non. It's in San Diego, Diego right? Non San yeah. Diego County resident. A Wales. And. Um, I mean, they talk about the Kukuya oh, yeah. grass out there, and it, that it's no joke. Like, good luck. Get a pitching wow. out and get back to the fairway. Yeah. Hmm. And you don't know when it's going to come because some will come out and some you're just like, hmm, I went five yards. I feel like an idiot. I played, Sound like you said the sun, and I was thinking the sun will come out. <laughs> I played Tomorrow. Balboa in the park. Do you yeah, still have the T-shirt? I'm curious. Yeah, it's the, okay. it's the U.S. Open one. I think I've worn it. On oh, there. yeah, I've seen it. Um, yeah. But I played Balboa. Balboa was awesome. It was $26. How the guy's gap? like the guy's like uh, <laughs> the guy's like he's a San Diego resident. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? But Balboa. Said Balboa. I said oh, Rocky. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's, where's my rim shot? Yeah. <laughs> so if you purple bow, um, if work Wait. sends you back to LA, it's from where you guys. <laughs> We're go. not traveling for work for years. <laughs> Thanks. You make it down there. It's, yeah. it's yeah. worth it. But you know what was, was good out there on the West Coast? Trump National. That's what he just That's said. What he just oh, said. I'm yeah. sorry, you I left the I podcast on, for a while. Tinkle time. If, if yeah. I had tinkle my choice time. between going to play either yeah. of those two courts, I'd go back to Trump. Yeah, politically agnostic. That was a great golf course. I feel like Fantastic. Pete and uh, John have played significantly more golf courses than Dave and I. Um, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I, there was I, I mean, whole, he played a bunch up in New York that yeah, there's a whole super yeah, jelly in New York. Of. Okay. Yeah. I'm See, building a map. Billy knew. I'm building a map. Oh, well, we need to put that on the yeah, podcast. It will Where be. Where are we on time, Billy? We're at one hour right now. It's we're all one long hour. Okay. This was a warning. Golf course. Right, yeah. So here, here's, here's gonna be a here's long what one. we're going to do. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask one more question. Oh. And then we're going to have a part two. <laughs> 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 I, I think that's probably the best thing to <laughs> this do. This is here. fair. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so, so we got to keep going. We got to stop the recording and then keep going on part two. Yeah, I think oh, so. I love it. Right. I think I so. I love it. Don't you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the crowd is going crowd wild. Has gone wild for this. All <laughs> right. So uh, let me just ask this last question here. <sighs> let me pick a good one. Man, you're. This is deep. Please go to the hot dog question. You want to? Let's, no. Let's you did, you pick two. your question. Let's say that for okay. part two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we, we, if you want to know about, about the hot dog question, you're going to have to wait for the next yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> so we talked about the stuff that we like and what, what makes us like the golf course. So let's talk about um, just locally in Kansas City. Where's your favorite place to play that is not Sycamore Ridge? Oh, mm. Public, private, anything we've played? Yeah. Indian Hills. Oh, that's a oh, good one. I'm playing that on the 8th. It's so good. Really? Yes. I played it so long ago, I don't really remember it anymore. So. The greens were fast. The yeah. were fast. Were I remember it. it it's a lot greens. like it's yeah. a stunner. I would I would say it's along the lines of where I like to play them as Kansas City Country Club. Yeah, yeah. Never played Kansas City Country Club. It's played Mission Hills several times. Mission very similar. It's that old style trees hanging over the fairway, big trees. Which which yeah. I don't mind, but yeah. I just I felt like Mission Hills. I don't know as much as it's talked up. It, I didn't. I, th- I thought it lacked prior to the redesign, or or we played uh, it after the redesign. You did, okay. yeah. We played right. it after. Yeah, that old. The, the old. I mean, th- I think that's part of to Dave's some of Dave's questions that he's been asking. The nostalgia of some golf courses is part of the experience. Yeah, I mean, I grew a, up a block from Milburn, and oh yeah, potentially have jumped fences at night. And yeah, we played yeah. on it. Yeah, we, no. We, the police I think are coming. Happened. Never. The I mean, are coming. they never. never happened. Yeah, you couldn't possibly jump. The never happened. Now, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would <laughs> the say slow the fence. Yeah. But that is one. That's probably like a bucket list in Kansas City. To I play. would say for me. I, I mean, Creekmore is really good. Um, yeah. Kansas City Country Club, Creekmore. I'm trying to think of anything else. Th- those would be my two mm-hmm. that I'd go with. I just like it. I just like Kansas City Country Club for the nostalgia. Yeah. It's just a fun place to go. And the socks. Is this the socks. socks. Yeah, you right? got to wear yeah. the tall socks. Yeah. I'm wearing yeah. tall socks right now. You are. Yeah. You win. They're gray. Do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have to be white, don't they? Yeah. 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 Do they have to be white? I thought they just had to be a like a white calf link socks. Nope. 
Hey, half length socks. Of course, their rules. Right? White. Keep it real. Yeah. yeah. You pay for the privilege. We you talked pay. about that. Yeah. 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 All right. What, John? What's yours? Sure, John. Probably Lock Lloyd. Oh, that's a good yeah. wait. Totally that's forgot an, about Lock Lloyd. Yeah, Lock but Lloyd, Lock Lloyd's one of those courses for me. It's like that's my confidence builder. But wait, gotta, but we gotta we gotta like, separate. Are we talking about the I Watson? The Watson, the, the Watson eighteen. The no. Watson eighteen. Do you like the Schneider? Nine? I mean, the Schneider is great. Don't get me wrong. The original Lock Lloyd. The original is far superior the best. golf course. Really? Yes. I mean, I yeah. think I think there was some butchery done on the, but there's still a lot of characteristics re- of the original course out there. It's nothing against Watson's redesign. I love no, it. No, no, it reminds me of Iron Horse. Yeah, it it just reminds me of a uh, wide open public golf course and, and it, the old course the was old nothing course like was that. nothing like yes, that right. no, and the that's old where course required some shooting some shots yes yeah. yeah. one person when you, when you when you came to 10 11 12 yeah. 13 14 you were that, going for a ride yes and then yeah. finishing on 17 and 18 uh-huh. mm, that back nine was unbeatable yeah i mean it was so pretty 18 is one of the well, prettiest the holes coming change. in no, that didn't change. Yeah, 17, but, 18 really But didn't 10 change. is now a par four, yeah. uh, which I don't even know if the – actually, that I don't even know if that's right. No, yeah, 10 yeah, is a, a, par a par four. four. Yeah, yeah, and then 11, 11 is a par three. 11 was a wonky par four before. Yes. Well, let's be honest. Still fun, though. Still fun, but yeah. it's a bit of a roller coaster. And then 12, like, 12 is gone. Yeah. The old 12 is completely gone where the split fairways it, is gone. It is. And then yeah. 13, which is the railroad tie. No, 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 no. 12, I mean, they don't split the fairways, but it's still yeah. there. It's Same still yardage. there, but Same it's not yardage. the old. Yeah, but it's not the old hole of yeah. the split fairway. There's two greens. So how far down this rabbit hole are we about We're, to go? What, I think I think we can. I think we can so, debate Lock Lloyd on another day. <laughs> yes. that, that, I mean, I mean that is true. You yeah. you have a good good golf course, yeah. and then you bring somebody in with a name to redesign it. Yeah, not the Schneider's not they, a name, it, but it's a great it's a great redesign. Yeah. It's just Agreed. not. It's not. It doesn't. It, uh, you lost the charm of the yeah. old course. Yes. Yeah, it, yeah. It it just changed. Which it yeah. would be hard to duplicate when someone does that. You bow to them because, like, wow, sure. yeah. yeah. Pinehurst taking yeah. Pinehurst back to its original number two, taking it to yeah. back to its originally yeah. what it was. Yeah, but I would say like Lock Lloyd's the one that I always love to play. Uh, the other one is the one in DeSoto off Kill Creek Road with the Island Green. Oh yeah, and that's like a, oak. that's like a six pack in the cart and just go Oak Country. Oak Country, and, and you just go play. You don't need a driver. Golf. You need six you just play miles. half drunk golf. I, it's so much fun. So like that, I wouldn't do it here. I'd shoot a hundred and nine. Swear, but. We're doing a match there. Yeah, Oak Country is. <laughs> I one mean, of those I, I played it. In the it's last three so years. much fun. Like I go with Never my neighbors. My neighbors don't either. play a lot of golf, and it is so much fun to just go play like half inebriated, just sloppy golf. It's Part so two is coming up yeah. after Pete's answer yeah. and yeah. Dave's answer. Yeah, no, <laughs> Pete already answered. Uh, oh, you I answer? Was, okay, yeah. good. I, I think, wasn't listening. Yeah, I think for me it's <laughs> going to be. That. We need Miller's answer. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shoal Creek. Oh yeah, that's a solid one. One that I really like, and then. Indian Hills is a great one. Yeah. But I really enjoyed the round we played, the two rounds we played at Shadow Glen. Shadow is money. Yeah, yeah Shadow's Shadow is money, and it's a wise golf. I've never yeah. played Shadow. Uh, is it really? It's a wise golf with a Watson, like, eh. Watson I did not know that. Put his foot in there yeah. and said, I want to do yeah, some of this. And you're on a golf podcast, layout. and you didn't know that. Yeah. I'm not a big golf I'm just joking. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it either. Yeah. You're I don't the, care you're who off the podcast. golf course, <laughs> as long as it looks nice, right? Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, th- those are my favorites in Kansas yeah, City. Yeah, the Bag Nine at Shadow, that'll kick the tar yeah. out of you. The Let problem is I never you. get to play them because, you know, Shadow's a private course. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and uh, Shoal is an hour drive on the opposite end of the yeah. Metro. Yeah, it's a ways out it's there. It's a yeah. solid hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's up there. ways out there. Yeah, it, it, it's a haul for me, so... All right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's call it good for this, and then yeah. come back. It's part, part one two. of uh, what are we calling this? I don't know. Golf course likes and dislikes. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Golf likes course. And, yeah. yeah. Part one. Complete. During the Ryder Cup. Make sure you uh, check out all of our YouTube videos. Uh, a lot of product reviews out there now, and uh, if you're interested in some buttery soft leather that makes zero noise when you touch it to a microphone, get with Nelson Hillco. Go to Nelson Hillco and use a po- promo code Gripping Golf. Gripping. Golf. Gripping yes. golf. And if you've listened to the episode this far, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. God, we're getting good at this. We know huh? what we're doing. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah. We're not on TikTok, but Dave wants us to be. We need to be. <laughs> yeah. We're, I'm not singing. We're behind the future. I'm not singing. I'm not dancing. We're going to do a lot that's of dances. Not, that's yeah. not what it is. Okay. Yeah. No, that's no, all I know. That, that's all I That's know what we're going to do, though. That's because you I'm guys 40. are old white men. I'm 40. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get Pete doing some Jack Black dancing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's not. <laughs> Let's, Let's cut, cut it down. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.